This little interface is a premium entry level audio interface. It's also great for the traveling musician. And in this video, I'm going to do a quick overview of the Audient ID4 MK2, and then I'm going to do some vocal and guitar tests connected directly to it. I'm Zane, welcome to Audio Tech TV, where it's my goal to help you conquer the tech so you can unleash your creative beast. And if you want any further info on the Audient ID4 MK2, I've linked to it down in the description so you can check out the latest pricing, but at the time of recording this, it's going for $199 over on Sweetwater. So at a first glance, the Audient ID4 MK2 may look like just another entry level audio interface, but it's actually packed full of some interesting features and you get a great little bundle of software with it which i'll get into in just a bit in the box you get the interface and the cable so not a whole lot going on in there so now let's look at some of the things that you can see on the exterior like all the connection options that you get with this and then we'll discuss the details that you don't see so you have two channels on the back of the interface it's your microphone and line input combo jack and the mic preamp in this is the same mic preamp that you'll get in a pro audience recording console. It's also the same as what I have in my ID44, which I absolutely love. And this is not a cheap mic preamp. It's very clean with a lot of headroom and up to 58 decibels of gain. Also on the back of the interface, you have your 48 volt phantom power switch. So you can use your condenser mics. You have your outputs for your monitors or your speakers. And then you have your USB-C jack, and this is used to power the interface and also to connect it to your computer. On the front of the interface, you have the instrument input, which is actually a JFET instrument input, and it's designed to replicate the input stage of a classic valve amplifier. So this gives your instrument a very nice foundation to start with and a little bit of analog character. So there's no need for a DI box here. Also on the front here, you'll notice that there's two headphone jacks. You have your quarter inch jack and a 3.5 millimeter jack. So if you're on the go and you only have some earbuds to work with, there's no need for an adapter or anything. The ID4 MK2 has you covered. Also, this is a very powerful headphone output. It can power my DT770 250 ohm headphones, no problem. And apparently it can go up to 600 ohms. So that's very impressive for an audio interface of this size. Now on the top, it may look fairly simple, but there are some cool hidden features that I'm going to get into in just a little bit. But first you have your gain knobs for your mic input and your instrument input right here. And then you have a cool monitor mix control. And this allows you to dial in the amount of the direct sound and computer sound that you hear. So if you want to hear your direct sound, but you want to blend it a little bit with your DAW, you can customize how much of it you want. It's not just a button that turns the direct monitor on and off. Now you have what they call a volume encoder over here, and this controls the output volume to the speakers and also to the headphones. And also there's a cool feature with this. If you push it in, it actually drops the level by 15 decibels. And this can be great for instantly turning down the volume without dropping it all the way or turning it off. Like say if your mom, wife, kids, or bandmates start yelling at you, just push that in and you can hear them and you can also keep listening to your mix. Now another cool feature that they added is this mute speaker button right here. And this allows you to mute just the speakers, but you'll still be able to hear through your headphones. Now this is an extremely helpful feature if you're recording anything with a microphone. With other audio interfaces, you have to turn down your speakers or turn them off, and then you turn them back on when you need them. Not with the ID4, you just push this button right here. Now over here, you have the ID button, which is a unique audient feature. And when it's pushed in, you can use the volume encoder as a scroll wheel to control settings in your DAW or various plugins that are compatible. So you can use this when automating various settings and controls on your tracks, and it will give you a more hands-on feel. Now, a cool hidden feature is if you push both of these buttons at the same time, the mute speaker button and the ID button, and now you can access the monitor pan feature, which allows you to monitor input one on one side and input two on the other. So if you're a singer songwriter type that records your guitar and your vocals at the same time, you're going to find this very useful. So when you're in monitor pan mode and you turn the volume encoder clockwise, 
that's to the right. It will pan input 1 to the left and input 2 to the right. If you turn the volume encoder counterclockwise or to the left, it will pan input 1 to the right side and input 2 to the left side. Also on top you have your LED meters up here and you have your LED for your 48 volt phantom power to let you know that it's turned on. You really don't want to plug in anything or unplug anything when the 48 volt phantom power is on. So this lets you know when it's on and when it's off. And then you have a USB light here and that lets you know that your connection to your computer is good. On your computer, you install the Audient ID software and you can take even more control over your audio interface with this if you need to. So far, I haven't really needed to do that with this one but on my ID44, it's been a very useful tool. And it is something that you might need with your recordings. And another cool thing with the Audient ID4 MK2 is that it's iOS compatible. You can connect this to your iPhone or your iPad as long as you have the USB camera adapter and it's going to work incredibly. Now on the inside of this unit, you have the mic preamp, which I talked about already, but you also have top of the line ADDA converters, which are very important to the overall quality of your audio, as this is what's really going to affect the quality of the audio that you record and the audio that you hear. And the Audient ID series is well known for having top of the line ADDA converters, and they've actually improved them in the ID4 MK2. So that takes this little guy to the next level. Another thing that you can't see right away by looking at this audio interface is the latency that it's capable of getting. And so far I've had some ultra low latency with this thing. I'm extremely happy with it. Now I've already done a video on how to connect this to an iPad for recording. Plus I have a whole series coming out about using the Audient ID4 MK2 and an iPad for music production. So if you're interested in that, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hey, why not give this video a thumbs up while you're at it? But right now, let's check out some of the bundled software that you get with the Audient ID4 MK2. First off, you get an incredible DAW, Steinberg Cubase LE. It is a limited version of Cubase, but it's not heavily limited like some other OEM DAWs are. You can have up to 16 audio tracks and 24 MIDI tracks in a project, which is very usable. And then another thing that separates this is you don't get all of the same instruments and effects that come in the higher versions of Cubase, but that's fine as you can bring in your own plugins and this is a great entry into one of the best DAWs that's available right now. Also bundled with this is the Steinberg Retrolog 2 instrument, which is a great analog synth emulation. And if you are interested in making music on your iPad or on your phone, you also get Cubase's LE. So already you have everything that you need to start making music, but you also get over two gigabytes of samples from Loop Masters. You get the GeForce Mellotron synth plugin. You get Two Notes Torpedo Wall of Sound, which is an incredible guitar cab sim plugin. I use it all the time, I love it. You get three classic synths in the Waldorf Edition 2 collection, and you get three free courses from Produce Like a Pro. Not a bad collection of goodies included with this interface. It seems like I've covered so much for a USB audio interface of this size, so now I'm going to check out what it sounds like with recording, and I'm going to record some electric guitar connected directly to the instrument input, and the electric guitar I'm going to be using is my Gretsch, just in case you are wondering and that's going to be connected directly to here, and I'm actually going to record it into my laptop. So what I'm going to do first is test out the raw audio so we can hear what it sounds like, just raw, and then I'm going to add Amplitube Custom Shop to it, and we can hear what it sounds like through a guitar amp sim. And then other than adding the guitar amp sim, I'm not going to do any other editing to the audio.
All right, so now I'm going to plug in a microphone and record an acoustic guitar. And the microphone I'm using is the Shure SM57. And again, this is the raw audio. I'm not editing it at all. All right, so now I'm going to test out the Audient ID4 MK2 on recording vocals, and I'm not the greatest singer, so don't judge it on the quality of the singing, but just check out the quality of the recording that this is capable of. And the microphone that I'm using for this is the Shure SM7B, and as you might know, the SM7B is known for needing a lot of gain, which is why I'm using it in this situation. I wanna see what it's like when we have to crank the gain on the mic preamp, and we can see how clean this mic preamp really is. This is a mellow vocal test. I have the gain cranked up pretty much to a hundred percent this is a mellow vocal test singing into the audience id4 let's get crazy and sing a little louder now this is definitely a lot louder than before i don't know what to sing about in this test but this is a vocal test for the Audient ID4. All right, so now I'm going to look at some of the positives and the negatives of the Audient ID4 MK2. And I'm going to start with the negatives because there really aren't that many. And the first one is you only get the one mic input. So you do know that when you're purchasing this. So that might not really be a negative because it is something you know when you're going into it. And then the second negative is similar to the first one. You only get the one line input. So if you wanted to connect a stereo device like a mixer or maybe a keyboard to this, you're not really going to be able to do it. But again, you know that when you're purchasing this. So is it really a negative? And the next negative might be more of a positive. It's the fact that this is a USB-C device and not everybody's going to have USB-C on their computers at the moment. However, it is going to provide this thing with a lot of power. So again, is that really a negative? Not really, you can buy an adapter to connect this to a regular USB 3 port. All right, so now a review of the positives. And first you have that really nice mic preamp in this. The next positive is the ADDA converters. And that's what really separates this from other audio interfaces in its class is the top of the line converters that are in this thing. Another positive is it's got a small form factor, but it packs a lot of features into this small little chassis. The next positive is the DI input. It actually adds a little touch of analog character to it, and you don't need to purchase an additional DI to record your instruments. Next is the headphone output, and you get two headphone outputs with this, and the power that they're able to put out can power up to 600 ohm headphones, which is really nice. The next positive is that this is iOS compatible, so you can plug this into your phone or your iPad and create a nice little music production setup that's very simple. And I can keep going on with positives on this thing, but the final positive that I'm going to mention right now is that mute speaker button. It makes it so convenient for recording with a microphone and listening through your headphones, but not having to turn off your speakers. Now, if you wanna check out my Audient ID4 MK2 iPad music production videos, click up here or click down here to see what YouTube recommends. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching for Audio Tech TV. I'm Zane, keep creating, and we'll talk soon.